basically on the ride here, we just been talking about life and we were just expressing how amazing it is, how far we've come. And a lot of times when you're in certain situations, you don't see like the outcome. You don't see where you're headed until you're there. So I encourage anyone who's going through a tough time right now or going through a time where you can't see where you're headed or where you're going, just know that God has a plan for you. God has a plan for everybody. And I promise you, if you follow him and you, you stay true to God, He'll always make sure that you are taken care of.
What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Des Alexis. And we are getting in the car because we're having a little date night, a little date date. We're gonna go ahead and um, get some pizza. We got a, we ordered some wings and we're gonna chill and pretty much have a date night, movie night in the house. Pizza Hut pizza with wing stop wings, some fries, you know, a little drink and whatnot and chill. We're about to go out of town to Florida so he can go meet his other grandparents. Long story short, we're on the way to get the food now. I got a little bit of a headache, but I'm not gonna complain because it's a beautiful day. We will see you guys soon. Like, um, it was, it was, it's, so, of course, we all, I already read Matthew, but reading it again, now that I've been reading it, it's like, uh, it's a different type of experience now that I actually know what's gonna happen before time, like the people who he healed and stuff. Yeah. So once I heard him, you know, Jesus constantly saying to people, like, do you believe I could do this? Like, for example, the two dudes who was blind or the one um, man who came about his daughter saying that she was dead and Jesus said, no, she's in a, she's asleep. Mm -hmm. So once I pretty much kept hearing him say, do you believe I could do this? That's when it hit me again. Like I have faith, but my faith is now 10 times more stronger because I understand to always ask myself or ask God, it's like a question that pops up. Do you believe God could do it? And once you answer yes, it's done. If you answer maybe or you're not for sure, it's not going to really be done because you, you're you you're lacking faith. And I kind of forgot about coming to God first or I would just sit there and I'd be stressed out like thinking I could handle it on my own instead of talking to God and telling him what I'm stressed out about. And so a lot of times we just get stressed out instead of coming to God and talking to him and telling him the things that we want done or the things that we're stressed out about, the things that are bothering us or on yeah. our mind. And it was interesting that you said that because lately I had been feeling like I had like a lack of faith in a sense where I felt like I could handle everything on my own or I was going to myself instead of going to God when he's the one that's going to change everything. So. No, nah, yeah, exactly. And once you understand that, I don't care what nobody say, bro. That's deep. I ain't going to lie. It hit me different this time around because I understand something that I didn't understand before. And it's literally like key words of Jesus asking people, do you believe? Yeah. Do they believe that he could do this? Because you have to believe it. Like, you gotta, yeah. you have to know it, but you have to believe it, too. Like, and that shows your belief, whether or not you think first, like, let me talk to God, or let me ask God yeah. about this, or mention it to him. But so. it's deep, because it's like, it's him literally asking them, do you believe I could do this? Yeah. Without them asking, you get what I'm saying? And that's why that lady was healed when he touched when she touched his garment because she already believed in order for her to touch it she believed like he is who he say he is or he is who i pretty much heard he was through the stories of him being around you know yeah. and that's bro that's insane right then and that's insane to it's crazy yourself, though because i think they said or in the bible it said the healing went out from him like it it was released like yeah the virtue or whatever I, I can't exactly remember how that how they said it but healing or like energy in a sense not necessarily energy but it it left from him yeah because she touched his she garment touched him. and that's 100 percent proof of like having all the faith in the world all right guys we are at the pizza place so he's gonna go in and get the pizza real quick but we were just talking about god and just you know expressing certain things that it says in the bible that we kind of sometimes overlook when you read it the first time or the first few times it doesn't really hit you like probably how it should but um yeah so he was re reading Matthew and I guess it just touched him differently this time and there's like a couple of things I've read in the Bible recently where it's like let me read that again like did I just read that correctly and yeah you did because sometimes we read things but we don't really like ponder on it or think about it or meditate on it so when we do that and we really think about what is being said it'll affect us differently so i always thought that was so crazy it's not ready no. 